Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs. At work, occasionally we'll get calls from customers who observe mites in their fruit fly cultures. These are generally small, brown or white, sometimes tan in color bugs. They're circular, they're very, very tiny. Um, they're typically grain mites. They're there to eat the fruit fly's food, not the fruit flies. So as long as you are keeping your fruit fly cultures properly and follow a few steps I'm gonna share with you, those fruit fly mites will not um, interfere with that fruit fly production at all. Basically, we have a Hydei culture here and a Melanogaster culture here, the two types of fruit flies we work with at Josh's Frogs. As long as these cultures are kept in the mid to high 70s temperature wise and between 60 or 80% humidity, the fruit flies will breed much faster than those mites will and you'll never have a problem with mites. You also wanna make sure you start from a fairly clean culture. True, all fruit fly cultures are gonna have grain mites in there in some way, shape, or form. If they don't, they will shortly because grain mites already live in your home on your bread, cereals, things of that nature, and they don't really hurt anything except when they get to um, producing a lot in the fruit fly culture and can actually outcomplete those fruit flies. So once again, keep these at about 60 to 80% humidity, the mid to high 70s temperature wise. Keep them in a clean area. Um, once a culture is over 28 days old, older cultures tend to attract more mites. So you wanna take that culture and remove it from your other fruit fly cultures. Um, just so that way it's not passing mites back and forth. Um, keep your cultures away from foods or grain sources. Like if you have mealworm cultures or mealworm bedding nearby, don't keep those near your fruit flies. Also, you want to make sure you use some of Josh's Frog's Bug Blade. Um, take the Bug Blade, you just shake it off. It's got a shaker top. You just sprinkle it on the surface there. And it'll just kind of make a little impenetrable barrier. You just keep your fruit fly culture set on top of that. Then those mites cannot either um, come from the outside and get into the culture, and they also can't leave that culture if it's an older culture and get to your other mites. So it'll protect your fruit fly cultures. So. Um, that about sums it up for today. Um, that should help you guys get better production out of your fruit fly cultures and um, help deal with any mite issues you have. So bug blade, keeping them clean, starting with good cultures, keeping those cultures in the, the mid to high 70s range and 60 to 80% humidity and you'll be all set. If you have any um, questions or looking for some products or need to purchase some fruit flies, check us out at joshesfrogs.com today.